The day after this footage emerged of Jamal Khashoggi going into Saudi Arabia's consulate in Istanbul, Saudi officials confirmed his disappearance, but insisted he left the building. That was nearly three weeks ago, the first of several times the official line would change. Two days later, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman told these reporters from Bloomberg News the same thing, saying the kingdom had nothing to hide. But when asked if Khashoggi was still inside the consulate, the Crown Prince said he's not inside. The next day, his consul general, Mohammed al Taibi, even brought reporters into the building, telling them Jamal is not at the consulate. He also said the building's cameras did not record any footage from the day Khashoggi disappeared. For the next two weeks, Saudi media outlets denounced what they called baseless allegations that Khashoggi was killed inside the consulate, accusing the world's media of spreading fake news to spark panic and blame Saudi authorities. Saudi-owned Al Arabiya TV network described the 15 men identified by Turkish officials as members of a hit squad as tourists falsely accused of murder. But with gruesome details of his death constantly leaking to the press, and growing pressure from Washington and other capitals, the Saudis had to come up with an explanation. The problem was, had they come clean early on saying, yes, he was killed, even in an, in a, in an interrogation gone wrong, I think the momentum of this that was building over now almost uh, more than two weeks um, basically created something that, that is bigger than it actually was early on. Had they responded early on, I think they could have had this moment, this momentum go away, but they haven't. And the more they said, the more they spread lies and conspiracy theories, the more this was actually growing into becoming what it is now, an uncontrollable uh, um, avalanche of, of allegations. Amnesty International says Saudi Arabia's statement that Khashoggi died during a brawl are not trustworthy and mark an abysmal new low in its human rights record. The rights group is calling for an independent investigation. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.